Hello, welcome to the new how-to videos. Today we're looking at maintaining a hammer, particularly changing the swivel and topping up an underweight hammer. So let's have a look at the tools for the job. You need some electronic scales, a hammer complete with wire and handle. This is a four kilogram hammer and is not underweight. So we're using a particularly short wire just to compensate for that weight. You need some circlip pliers for a Nelco hammer and a small Allen key. For a Polonic hammer, you don't need the Allen key, but you do need the Polonic hammer spanner instead of the circlip pliers. To top up the weight of the underweight hammer, you need some lead shot, something to tamp it down with. This is just a metal pin and some standard PVA craft glue. So the first thing that you need to do is in the Nelco hammer, there is a small Allen key grub bolt, which is there to stop the swivel from loosening over time. So this needs to come out first. So you just take your Allen key and you turn that and remove it. Once you've removed it, you need to take your circlip pliers and open up the circlip. You will need an extra person to do this, so we'll go and find a friend to help us. To remove the swivel, we need one person to hold the hammer steady and to do the turning. You put the special pliers into the two holes on the top of the swivel and press them down flat, and then the second person turns to loosen. Now you may find that when you're first doing this, that it will be very, very tight. Oops. And it will take a little while for it to undo. This one has been pre-loosened and we are about out now. You can now see that this easily comes out. We now have an empty open hammer and the swivel which is loose. So we can fill it up with some extra weight. So now we're ready to top up our hammer. First we need to know what weight it is. You zero your scales and you put all of the elements of the hammer onto the scales, including the swivel that you just removed. So you should have your hammer, your swivel, handle and wire. Now we can see that this is 3.971 kilos and it must be over 4 kilos, so we need to top this one up. So, we are now going to take all of these off and we're going to take our little cup, put it on the scales and zero the scales. And now we can put all of these items back on again including the swivel, the wire and the handle. And now we want to make this up to over four kilos. 397.55, 398.15. That is now 4.0065 kilograms and that is enough for our hammer weight. We're now ready to top up the hammer with the lead shot. In order that the lead shot does not rattle around inside the hammer we're going to mix it with some PVA glue. So inside your little container put a little bit of PVA glue, not too much, in with the lead shot and just mix it up. I'm using my finger, this PVA craft glue, it's not toxic and it washes off quite easily. You can obviously use a mixing stick if you prefer, probably need a little bit more glue in there. And then we're going to stick it into the hammer and tap it down. So there's not an enormous amount of space inside a hammer, so you're going to have to make sure that this shot is level as possible in the bottom so that the swivel fits back in on top of it. Just gonna wipe my hand. And you get in your stick and you're just gonna press it down so it's nice and flat in the bottom. 
once you've tamped the lead down inside, then you're just going to close it off with a swivel. It should go in quite easily by hand. In order to tighten off the last bit, you may need to get a second pair of hands again. But because you've broken the manufacturer's seal, it's probably slightly easier um, than it was when you undid it. Now, ideally, you want to try and line up the Allen key bolt, if there is one on here, so that you can get that safety mechanism back in again. If it doesn't line up, then it isn't the end of the world. We're putting that Allen key bolt back in. But if you've got one that doesn't have an Allen key grub screw in there, then every now and then, maybe every couple of months, you need to be checking that the swivel of your hammer is still tight um, as they can come loose over time. And there we are gonna check the weight of our finished hammer. We're gonna zero it because we no longer have the cup on there. So zero it first, hammer, handle and wire. And it's now 4.0065 kilograms. There we have our completed hammer. Please check out our other how-to videos. Enjoy your sport.